Recently, a member wrote to me and asked, how can they make their artwork look better? Um, they can bring it into Photoshop, but uh, when they start messing around with things, it doesn't necessarily turn out the way they want it to. Um, we've all created artworks and then taken photographs of them, and they just didn't look like they do in person. And it's kind of frustrating when you're trying to communicate your artwork to other people that they can't see the artwork in person and uh, you you can't show them what it looks like in person. So I'm gonna show you how you can use Photoshop to make your artwork uh, look a little bit more presentable and a little bit more like the real thing. So uh, I'm gonna use this, this image uh, that I uh, took. Uh, this is a finished drawing from one of the Pastel Landscape Mastery uh, video series images and I'm going to show you how I um, enhance the artwork to make it look better. So the first thing we need to do is open this up with Photoshop. So I'm going to go ahead and open with Photoshop. And when we open up Photoshop you can see the image isn't even oriented correctly. Um, the lighting's not very good. Um, so the first thing we need to do is orient the image properly. So I'm going to go up to image and then I'm going to select uh, image rotation and then I'm going to go 90 degrees counterclockwise and that's a little bit better that gets the image back um, horizontal like it should be now I'm going to use the rectangular marquee tool which is this tool right here the second tool down and I'm just going to go ahead and select the area of the image that I want to keep and let's select right there. It's a good idea maybe just to crop off just a little bit of the edges. There we go, just inside there. And then I'm going to go up to Image, Crop. All right, now we're getting a little bit better. We're getting a little closer to our final image. Now it's kind of close to what the image looks like, but there's actually more contrast in the finished image that uh, I drew. So it doesn't quite look like what it looks like in person. So I'll go through a series of options here to try to make this image look more like the image does in person. So the first thing I do is I go to image and I'll try auto color first. And you can see here auto color really enhanced the contrast and it really brought it to a point where the image looks pretty good. In this case I would probably go ahead and save this and move on. But uh, let's say auto color didn't get it for you. Uh, the next thing I would try is auto contrast. And with a little auto contrast, that's pretty good. That's pretty close to what auto color did. Let's say that didn't work for you. I would also try auto tone. Sometimes a lot of strange things happens with auto tone. If you can see here, it made all the blues just a bit bluer. This isn't bad, but it's not necessarily what the original image looks like. So I would control Z that. Now, let's say none of those worked for you. There's other options. You can also go to Image, Adjustments, and try Brightness and Contrast. And sometimes just manually adjusting the contrast and the brightness can get the job done. So you can see here when I'm scrolling back and forth with these little selectors, it does affect the image and it can bring the image closer to what you want it to look like. If all of that fails, then you can go a little bit deeper and go to adjustments and then try the levels or the curves. Um, for example, when I take these little selectors, without getting too technical, I can slide back and forth and you can see it's affecting the image. Um, I can also grab these on the left and the right. Most of the time, I don't have to go into levels to adjust the image. Most of the time, um, going through the first few steps really gets things done. Now, when you're ready to export it, this is important. So I'm going to go ahead and run the, what I did first, um, the auto color. Um, so that looks pretty good. Now, when I'm ready to export it, um, let's, look at, let's look at the image size first. So if I just go up to um, image image size it's going to give me some information about that image size and you can see right here the resolution is set on 72 pixels per inch that's a pretty small image that's going to be pixelated when I try to print it out or when I try to share it with someone else so I'm going to change this resolution to at least 300 pixels per inch and click OK and you can see that our image immediately becomes a lot larger. You can even see the texture of the paper 
um, here. So this is going to be a higher quality image to export. It's going to look a lot better and it's going to look more like your original piece. So um, I hope this helps you guys out and uh, I hope that you're able to translate your images properly so that you can share them with the world.